real quick for today's main video i wanted to talk about is a morning routine really necessary does it have to be all pretty work out read your bible all this no nah. does it not really now i fully believe you should start your day with at least prayer at least thanking god for waking up at minimum but i think you should read the word to a degree too and reading your bible reading like a chapter of proverbs that takes like five minutes right so after that honestly if you aren't where you need to be who cares about the pretty routine you just need to work how much work are you missing out on doing the two minute not two minute two hour routine just all this bull crap prepping you when you could have just already been working and you would be further ahead you have so much time and you're using it for prep you're wasting your time Uh, one of the uh, buddies in the group, one of the networking groups I'm in a Discord, he's been doing coach hours for like over a year now. He said the key thing you want to do after a coach hour is just work. You take a coach hour and then that's your switch. Then you have the focus and then you just work. And I'm contemplating, man. What if I, all I did, right, spend at most 20, 30 minutes, just read my Bible a bit, pray, do a cold shower. That alone is like 15 minutes. Then I maybe meditate. I don't know, maybe. Just realistically, right? With my schedule, I have my priorities my prioritized work finished by four therefore like by four o'clock then i can do chores like cut grass or whatever do whatever it would be much more productive to just work from six to twelve and then post the video and then I feel like I'm just not working enough, like, which I'll get into what I've done today. And I'm gonna record some footage about some, some camp updates, because the freaking dogs, neighbor's dogs are like taking dumps near here now. That's not acceptable, bro. I'm making gates and stuff, but I've dedicated Sunday to a rest day to a degree. Sunday is a bit of a chill day. Should you work Sunday? Yes. If it's necessary, yes. God healed a man on the Sabbath. Okay, the, the blind man near the... Well, it was like this pagan uh, pool of healing. And he never got there and he waited there for like 30 years. The blind man. And God said, go pick up your mats and leave. <laughs> Telling him paralyzed dude that was paralyzed since he was a child pick up your mats and leave and he got up and walked but anyhow this is necessary this work is necessary and i'm i gotta keep honestly like i'm starting from zero as far as work really like i'm trying to get up to the eight hour mark like properly Eight hours turns into 10 hours and then 12 hours. It needs to, I have to start building the momentum. Each day can be a good day, right? If you do what you need to do, you work out, you drink your water, you hit your protein, but mainly just work. Just, just have the key building blocks. You do that every day and you just build momentum. Joe Rogan said it uh, in some clip, I don't know. But it's, it's complete facts. You're waiting on all this nice, perfect routine for optimal performance. Just perform. You're not performing anyways with or without the routine, my boy. Just get to work. And I'm talking to myself. But anyhow, I'll see you guys in a recap. I'm going to make some, some dedicated 
outdoor video based off the footage I have. Uh, I'm gonna film after this. But uh, yeah, appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day. Have a good evening. Love you. Jesus loves you. Peace.